Hey all welcome back to the Fire and Water Cooking Channel. I am Darren, of course, and today, hey, I've done this before, but I don't know if I've shown you guys how to use the M36, M Grills, M36, uh, mother of all grills, as a stick burner making pulled pork. I know I've done ribs and uh, probably a brisket on there, but we're gonna make pulled pork. I have a get together tomorrow for my wife's family. So I've been in charge to make the pulled pork, of course. And I got two full uh, big butts here. And we're gonna do that on the M Grills N36 as a stick burner. I'll be back. Smoking, grilling, getting hot and hotter. Sous vide and chilling from fire and water. All right, guys, like I said, I'm gonna use the M36 Mother of All Grills, and the thing I love about that grill is that it's so versatile. It is a reverse flow stick burner. You can also use it as a charcoal smoker. You could also use it as a direct uh, smoker and cooker because it has the adjustable charcoal grate. But one of the things it does really well, since it's so big, it cooks multiple things at once. So I'm gonna cook both of these pork butts on there at the same time, but I'm also gonna throw on some uh, baby back ribs that are gonna be for another video that are gonna cook at the same time as these pork butts. But first thing I gotta do with these pork butts is get them out of this package. They're all thawed out, ready to go. And we're gonna season them up with my blueberry and black garlic seasoning. And then we're gonna, tomorrow, when we take it off and, and serve it up to our family. We're gonna use the Triple B uh, blueberry, black garlic, and balsamic sauce to go along with it. So let me get these out of the package. We'll get these seasoned up and get the fire going. All right, guys, so I got my seasoning out here. These are a couple of really big pork butts for sure. So we're gonna have plenty uh, for tomorrow and probably gonna have some left over that I'll be able to freeze and vacuum, vacuum seal up. So I got plenty of my blueberry and black garlic seasoning out here. And riddle, I'm just gonna put this all over these butts and then we're gonna let them sit here for a little while. All right guys, so I'm just gonna put up generously over here. I'm gonna go ahead and, I don't wanna get really super dirty, show you on film, but that's all I'm gonna do is cover these completely with my rub. Then we're gonna go get this fire started. I'm gonna let them sit here while the fire comes up to temp. And then when that's done, we'll get them on the smoker. I'll be right back. All right guys, there you go. It's gonna sink in here into, into the meat. It looks kind of pink right now, but it's gonna look more dark purple once it starts to uh, sink into the meat here. So um, check it out guys, fire and water cooking edible creations, blueberry and black garlic seasoning. You can try it out on uh, ribs, pork, pretty much anything, seafood, poultry, all kinds of pork, ribs, pork belly especially. It's got just enough savory, sweet, and a different fruity type flavor that you guys will love it. So check it out on fireandwatercooking.com. It's also on walmart.com, amazon.com, even on an Etsy store. All right, I'll be back getting the fire going. All right, guys, I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna set this up. Like I said, we're just gonna use it as a stick burner today. So I'm not gonna put any charcoal down. I'm just gonna put a couple smaller pieces of wood on the bottom here to get going. I'm gonna kind of cross them like that. If you can see in there, get you a little closer. I'm just gonna cross them like that and I'm gonna use my uh, grill gun to get these started. And we're gonna let them get going. I'm gonna use my grill gun here, get this going. And then we're gonna, once that gets going really good, whoo, gotta be careful because it can, suck all the oxygen out of there. Once these get going really good, we'll start tossing our wood chunks on. I'm gonna to try to do just one or two chunks at a time. That way it's not gonna to get too hot and it gets just enough smoke. We're gonna to try to keep this right around 250, 275 today. So that should be good enough 
have to get these going. And I'll give it a few minutes, then we'll start tossing some of those bigger chunks on. All right, guys, I'll be back. All right, guys, so I got my vent on the top all the way open. Uh, these look like they're going pretty good. I'm just going to start, like I said, feeding my wood chunks. This is hickory I'm using today. One at a time. Just going to put it right there in the middle. I'm going to go ahead and close the door. And I'll open it up about two-thirds of the way till the temperature starts climbing on my thermometer on the front. I'm not going to use a temperature controller today, guys. I'm going to just do straight control it by the vents and straight wood, no charcoal and all that. But as soon as it gets right around 250 or so, we'll back those vents down and we'll toss the uh, pork on. All right, I'll be back. All right, guys, so I just want to give you a good look at the M36 if you haven't seen it before so that uh, you can see what it is. So 36 inches across here. So like I said, it fits plenty of, uh, plenty of meat. So we're gonna put our two butts right here. And like I said, since this is a reverse flow, your fire starts and is down in this side, okay? And it's got a shield here, right here where these screws are is where the heat shield is. So the heat actually flows to, from the left here, uh, my left, to the right. So if you're looking at it this way, it goes from the right to the left. And then it comes around and comes back out this side. So you see the vent is actually here inside the hood and it comes in right down by great level here, which most of your really good, well-made stick burners have that, where your smoke and your heat come out great level, which means it actually gets your smoke and your heat go directly onto your meat. All right, guys, I'm going to go ahead and get my pork butts on now. It's right up there by 200 degrees, so I'm going to use my claws here because these are heavy get these on and I do have a drip pan underneath there just for the fact it makes it easier to clean up when we're done nothing worse than trying to get six pounds of uh, rendered pork fat out of the bottom of your smoker the uh, drip pans make it easier so all right guys so i'm going to get this closed up you see how they're looking with that rub all sucked into the meat so we'll get this closed up and i'll be see you back when we're checking on them all right this is about three and a half hours in guys and we're looking good the uh, bark is getting set really well so you can see i threw a couple racks of baby backs on top so uh, that's for dinner tonight all right i'll be back all right guys, it's been about seven and a half hours. I think these are ready to be wrapped. I'm gonna check them out. They're right at about 159 degrees. So they're probably right there at the stall. I'm gonna go ahead and wrap these up in foil and let them finish cooking. I'll be back when they're ready. All right guys, it's been right at 10 and a half hours. I think these are all done. Let's go ahead and check it out. They are right at the 202 degrees. So I think these are all ready. We're gonna pull these off, give them a taste, then we're gonna keep them in a cooler overnight. All right, guys, so let's get this thing opened up. I'm just going to open up just enough so you guys can see it because I'm going to rewrap this so we can have it tomorrow. I'm going to put it in the cooler for a few hours here. Let me go ahead and open it so you guys can see just how awesome it turned out. I know the lighting's not great right now, but whew, check it out. All that steam coming out. It's pulled really good. Check out that bark, guys. Awesome. Whew. So hot. Yeah, I get this chunk right here. Look at that. Mostly smoke ring there. Awesome bark. Mmm. Still really hot. 
super moist, tender, ready to go. And this rub gives a great bark, awesome flavor. And there you have it, guys. I fed the um, about one stick of wood per hour on the uh, M36, so works great. Temp stayed right about 250 the whole time. So that's it, guys. I'm going to get this wrap back up. Thanks for watching. Follow us on Facebook, Instagram. Check out the Fire and Water Cooking Edible Creations Rubs and Sauces on our website, on Amazon, and Etsy, and Walmart. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next one.